let's read paragraph 7 from Karl Marx's uh, text, the Communist Manifesto, section 1, uh, the bourgeois and the proletariat. Marx writes, the discovery of America, <clears throat> the rounding of the Cape opened up fresh ground for the rising bourgeoisie. The East Indian and Chinese markets, the colonization of America, trade with the colonies, the increase in the means of exchange and in commodities generally gave to commerce, <clears throat> to navigation, to industry, an impulse, an impulse never before known, and thereby to the revolutionary element in the tottering feudal society, a rapid movement. Again, in paragraph 7, Karl Marx is further expanding the explanation about how the bourgeoisie class, middle class, business class developed. So in paragraph 6, he said that they developed from the serfs into chartered burghers who started business and made money. Now he says that there were some other factors which fastened the rapid development of this middle class. And he says that one element was the discovery of America. When was it? When was America discovered? Let's quickly check. So it says that if you mean by discovery first human presence, uh, then people came to America uh, no later than 15,000 years ago, it says. Oh, um, yes, it was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492. One more meaning, let's check the cape, the rounding of the cape. Okay, let me check this expression. Rounding of the cape. So he says that the discovery of America contributed to the rise of the middle class. So then the rounding of the Cape also contributed to the rise of the middle class. What is rounding of the Cape? Here is an answer. The phrase rounding of the Cape means, let me share this, this page for you. The circumnavigation of the Cape of Good Hope, the southern most point of Africa, by European sailors in the 15th and 16th centuries. This was a significant achievement because it opened up new trade routes to Asia and India, bypassing the traditional and traditional land routes uh, that were controlled by Muslim powers. So this is very key um, thing to understand. Look. Before, they had to go through Muslim countries, uh, but now they discovered another route. What is, Cape of, what is the Cape? The Cape is the southern most point of Africa that was uh, uh, used by the Europeans to circumnavigate the globe, sailors, in 56 centuries. Okay, let's come back to the text we were reading. Okay, 
So, one, the discovery of America contributed to the rise of middle class. Second, the discovery of the new route to reach, to, to, to navigate around the world, the, the, the frontier of South Africa, Cape. Maybe there is something known as Cape Town, a place. I don't know if from this thing. Uh, that contributed to the movement of uh, businessmen and business activity. Opened up a fresh ground for the rising bourgeoisie. So two elements. Discovery of America and new routes to go around the world. They fastened the business activities. The third element, the East Indian and the Chinese market. East Indian market. You know about East India Company, a British company that came to India and went around the world doing business. The East Indian Company and the Chinese market, they also contributed to the rise of business activities. The, colon, the colonization of America, Britain colonized America and later America colonized Africa and other, other, other countries. America colonized natives. This also in, uh, contributed to business activities. Trade with the colonies. Colony is a country that is ruled by another powerful country. So there was business between uh, the colonizer and the colonized country. For example, there was business between India and uh, Britain. India was the colony. Britain was the colonizer. The increase in the means of exchange. There was more monetary exchange, money exchange, or there were more exchange of goods. And in commodities, the more buying and selling of commodities increase in the means of exchange commodities. There were new means of exchange, new means of commodities. Generally, all these factors, they increased commerce, business. They increased navigation, going around the world. They increased industrial production. And this rise in business rise in travel around the world and rise in initial production. This was unprecedented. It was never seen like this before, right? And these commerce, navigation and industry, they uh, gave rise to the revolutionary element in the feudal society. What was the revolutionary element? that revolutionary element in the feudal society was the middle class. And Karl Marx says that, you will see that the middle class was the most revolutionary class because it destroyed all previous classes and formed a new class. So once again, the discovery of America, the discovery of the new route to go around the world, the Cape, then uh, the East Indian market, the Chinese market, the colonization of America, trade with the colonies, uh, the increase in the means of exchange and commodities, all these factors gave rise or increase in commerce, increase in navigation going around the world, increase in industrial production, and all these things gave further push, further strength, further rise, to the revolutionary element in the feudal society, the middle class, and the middle class rapidly developed and destroyed the feudal society and itself became a dominant, powerful class. So in this paragraph 7, Karl Marx further beautifully explains in detail how the bourgeois class developed so quickly. Once again, I wrap up. The bourgeois class developed very fast because of the discovery of America, one, because of the discovery of the new route, the Cape, because of the uh, markets uh, uh, provided by the East Indian Company and the Chinese market, because of the colonization of America, because of the trade with the colonies, uh, because of the increase in exchange and commodities, and, uh, and because of all these factors causing, leading to increased uh, commerce, navigation and industry, all these factors gave uh, led to a rise, a development in the bourgeois class that ultimately destroyed the feudal class in the Middle Ages. Thank you.